This is my last chance for an American high school boyfriend. So obviously, this calls for a drum roll, please. Pros, Pros and cons, cons list. list. Never Have I Ever is a coming of age comedy about an Indian American teenager from Sherman Oaks named Davey Vishal Kumar, played by me, I. And we see her deal with family, her love life, and her friends. And getting through high school, especially after losing her father, it happens in the first 15 minutes. It's not a spoiler. Now we see Davy after dealing with her grief, starting to confront that grief. Spoilers, if you haven't watched, just like leave now. She ends off with kissing Ben at Malibu in the car and Paxton's like calling her up. But for season two, now she finds herself in this love triangle and she's decided that she's gonna have two boyfriends. So you're saying I should just have two boyfriends? No. Definitely not. Because she is very wise. Oh my God, I have two boyfriends. Well, it starts with the cliffhanger of season one. We get to, you know, see what's going on as a team Paxton or team Ben. There's a lot of friendship moments. There's new characters. There's a lot of new love interests, a lot of drama, a lot of awkward, angsty teen moments. You know this girl! It's always the short ones. Uh, this love triangle is becoming very complicated, but very interesting to watch. And I think you see Paxton's character with a lot more challenge to him. You're seeing him, I think, chase a girl for the first time in his life and being very confused by that and dealing with that. Wait, have you been here since you left me that message? No. Well, yeah, I mean, I was waiting because I had nothing better to do. Re they're putting him to work this season. Everything is not coming so easily. Fabiola and Eve are officially girlfriend girl. And Fabiola is just trying to navigate her new relationship, but also trying to figure out kind of how to fit in with Eve's friend group. And so she has a little, little bit of struggle there. Chatty as ever, Fabiola. Anissa, the new girl that poses a threat to Davy because Davy is jealous. Great. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, David. I, I mean, Anissa. No. She's just a warm, friendly, loving person who just really wants to make a good impression and, and, and kind of effortlessly attracts friends. So that, of course, you know, triggers Davy's insecurities. Anissa's like Davy 2.0. No offense, Davy 1.0. As Miss Olivia Rodrigo would say, jealousy, jealousy. For season two, we wanted to like continue on in this character's journey. And she is a person who has a lot of internal struggles, which is why we gave her John McEnroe as a narrator, who is like the embodiment of rage. You okay, kid? You're John McEnroe. I am. Like every teen girl I ever knew was just like filled with like fury. So she, who has had this horrible thing happen to her, is still a very complicated character and, and she's still immature and she still makes a lot of mistakes even though we had this cathartic resolution in season one where she says goodbye to her father and comes to terms with the fact that he's died and sort of has a, a moment with her mother it's not like she's all better now it's not like she's all fixed we wanted to keep going down that path of well once you've accepted grief then how does it still kind of show up my mom doesn't tell me how to live my life. Megan the Stallion does. Never Have I Ever is fun and a great show to watch. No, that was like a, the worst sales pitch. 